and that makes a massive change to what the back line looks like. They lose a lot of leadership without Matt Miazga and Mascara in the team. Yeah, it looks more like they're going back to their original 4-3-3. Richie Larea coming back from international duty, sliding in as that center back alongside Mabika. We'll see if Toronto can end this incredible run. It is FC Cincinnati who kick things off, looking to tie an MLS record that has stood for over two decades. Clearance forward. Header back central. A little bit of space out wide. Aris comes in and it's right at the goalkeeper. Not enough pace to really trouble. Ranjit Singh who gets a start. Yeah, Kubo. And he's got Badgett further forward. Kubo holds on to it. Still has it. Finds a Costa. Edge of the penalty area. Costa goes for goal. Ranjit Singh has the save. That's the best we've seen from FC Cincinnati. And it starts with changing the point of attack. A good challenge from Angulo to win that one back and try and launch the counter. Oh, Acosta, nice. silky, skillful, ball out wide towards Badgie, who keeps it in play. Ranjit Singh was going for it, doesn't get anywhere near it. Barial on his right foot, goal there for just over. But Lucho Acosta at the heart of that one again. Players around him and then the little cheeky nutmeg to get out of a situation that looked impossible. Maybe just a little bit too much weight on that pass there to put Baji in. He does well enough to keep it alive and then Barry on his weaker foot. It's impressive how much work he does off the ball defensively, how he leads the press for his side. A true captain. Arias, uh, he had two beaten for pace. Osorio first, then Petretta, Petretta. Quite rightly, he's going to go in the referee's notebook. That was cynical. Just skips by Osorio, then Petretta gets a little bit too tight when he realizes he's beat for pace. It's just a little bit of a... A little bit of contact, it's not much, but it's enough to now throw him off. FC Cincinnati's number 10 on the set piece. Acosta, all the way to the far post. This one set up and flashed through. Alvis Powell never looked like it was going to get that back on target. Benedeschi. Nice little interchange, he continues his run. He's in behind! And the goalkeeper, Salatano, comes out and does just enough. Well, we talked about a cost that one here. Benedeschi involved in that move three or four times. What it looks like in real time, and it's just a good combination play, and then continues his run. He might have just gone offside, but irregardless of it, this is the first time that Toronto FC has found a way to really get in behind that back line. Baniel towards an impost save, and the rebound smashed home. And he is quickest to react, and FC Cincinnati have the opening goal. Ranger Singh makes the initial save, really good piece of goalkeeping, but it's FC Cincinnati that reacts sharply. Cincinnati, and this one comes off of a really well-delivered ball. By Alvaro Barrial just puts it right into a threatening area, and it's Alvis Powell who gets the initial header, as you mentioned. Ranjit Singh in goal. He makes the initial save, but no one reacts quick enough from Toronto FC. And it's Santiago Arias at the right place, right time to get his first goal of the season. The reports came out, the, that article came out. The next game was against DC United, and it was these same two homegrown players, Kerr and Thompson, who scored the goals that got them that win. Maria, back for Rosted, who lets it bounce. He's going to go back to... Ranjit Singh, Kubo trying to press him, not a good ball from the goalkeeper, Angulo, Lucho Acosta, 2-0! Fifth straight home game that Lucho Acosta's found the back of the net. One of the top tens in Major League Soccer once again delivers. Good defense turning into good offense, this is going to go down as a blunder though for Ranjit Singh, you've got to just put the ball away. Understandably, he wants to try to play, but for a man who hasn't seen the pitch much, getting his first start since 2020, you've got to put that in row Z when there's that amount of pressure on you. But Lucho Acasa, when he picks up the ball in this space, he has one thing on his, on his mind and does so well to pick up that top corner, but it starts with the collective press led by Kubo. And Gulo stepping into midfield does well to pick his head up to see the run of Acasa. Seeing the pressure come in from Abika. Oh. oh, what a ball. And Baji gets in behind, in on goal. This could see that. Baji! 3 0. This time, Acosta is the architect. He goes across and high fives Pat Noonan. 
He might have just sealed a piece of MLS history for FC Cincinnati. It's his running off the ball on both sides of the ball. And this is Toronto FC. This is a really, really poor goal to concede because they just get caught sleeping off of a set piece. When you give Acosta that amount of time to pick his head up and pick a pass, and you have a willing runner like Dominique Baji constantly towing that line, problems happen. But look at the weight of that pass. Ay, ay, ay. He shrugs off Mabika, and then when he gets into the 18, he has a presence of mind to calm himself down, compose himself, and then just slide it between the legs. The Rajat Singh in goal. Right, see, what happened was he <laughs> called me, but I had changed numbers. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. Oh, good move here. Running behind, flick towards the far post, and Valencia showed that bit of quality to separate, but couldn't get the finishing touch. Create a little bit of change of pace. It's a collective defensive unit here. Insigne goes for goal, and Celatano was taking no chances. Almost just pushed it away. Didn't want to risk trying to hold on to it. Clever on the ball. Donetsk trying to drive forward. Donetsk getting on his right foot goes down. The play on. Arias inside the area. Almost four. Almost a second for Santiago Arias, but you got to love that play from Arki or Donetsk. And Arias picks his ball up. Shrine just hit it off the volley, but just kind of snatches at it. And three Major League Soccer debuts and tying an MLS record that's lasted for over two decades. Mo. Tonight was all about FC Cincinnati. Even with the squad stretched, they once again delivered.